Here's the thing about heartbreak in high school. It's f***ing stupid. I cannot tell you how much you're going to have heartbreak in high school. I see heartbreak throughout high school about every two months. It's that common. And the heartbreak is usually from breaking up with someone or... That's about it. Let me just make something really clear here, alright? High school is not a good place for relationships. As my good friend Simon says, relationships are stupid in high school. And that in college, everything changes. I personally do not know why people keep on trying after all this heartbreak. Stop trying to find your perfect someone in high school. High school is filled with people who just want to hook up. And if you're in high school right now and you think you're in love, there's a 1 out of 5 chance that you actually are and you'll stick with that person forever. Another statistic from Bullshit.org. And how about we just go over what love actually is, alright? The thing people call love is actually a chemical called dopamine. You've probably heard of it. Basically, when you're with that special someone, you're so happy that these chemicals inside your brain start bubbling around and fizzing, and that's dopamine. You feel amazing. You feel, quotes, in love. And when you break up with someone, the love chemical, dopamine, goes shooting down, straight through the crust, and down into Satan's ass. That's basically what love is. It's a chemical in your brain. Heartbreak is just withdrawal from dopamine. There is nothing special about it. Not saying that there's nothing special about that special someone in your life. If you don't want to go through all this pain and suffering, do not try to find that special someone in high school. High school is a deceitful place. And personally, I get really pissed off whenever someone is heartbroken. Because they're trying to make something real out of high school. There are plenty of more mature and self-unrighteous people in the world in your future. I'm an expert in heartbreak. I've been through heartbreak so many times, and all of those times, I really thought that was the end of it. I just really thought, I don't have anything left, no one can ever hurt me again, because I have nothing left for them to crush. But there's always that tiny sliver inside that's just a little seed. And like, you know, the water is blood, you know. Bloop. Then it grows slowly, and then... I've been through heartbreak so many times in high school, that it's just a normal thing for me. It's just a normal day. So if you're going through heartbreak right now, what are you doing? You are literally just wasting your time. Oh no, your boyfriend or girlfriend broke up with you. You still have your friends, you still have your health, and you still have your legs. I apologize to anyone who's handicapped watching this video. Here's a tip for you going into high school. Do not waste your time trying to find that special someone. Focus on your friends. Your friends that could still be there for you even when that person dumps you. And for the people who keep on putting themselves out there after constantly getting heartbroken, they need to learn that, especially in high school, there is no getting out of this. Please don't think I'm some cold gray shell of a person who used to feel. I feel all the time. In fact, I'm going to prom. I'm literally going to prom. Me. With a person. Who is a female. But love! Because slim chances are, it might work out, but might not. Don't let this video scare you into not going out there and trying to find that person. I'm just saying, keep one little sliver of your heart tucked away, away from that person, just in case it doesn't work out. If you're like me, and eventually you go through so much heartbreak, you're not going to feel sad anymore. You're going to feel f***ing pissed. And trust me, pissed is way more better than sad. You're pissed off because you're so stupid. You promised yourself you wouldn't let that happen again. And what'd you do? You let it happen again. You fucking dumbass. So never give your entire soul to just one person. Give it to all of your friends and best friends, people who you know will stay there for you. And it's no wonder people feel so bad when they're heartbroken. You just wasted all of your time and love on that one person who turned out to be an asshole, motherfucker, jerk, cunt, dumbass, betch. All of the above. Love is probably the most dangerous drug that they never teach you about. So here I am, trying to educate you people, so you'll learn and stop making these stupid mistakes again and again. But you know, to err is human. Hopefully, with this video, you can survive the world. And don't get pregnant.